Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here in Cameraman Brian's freshly purchased 2013 Toyota RAV4. He recently traded his uh, 4Runner in for this and he's kind of annoyed, as you can see, because he's got a rattle in his dash. And I said, hey Brian, why don't we make a video about how to solve rattles and dashes and make you happy and I get a video. First, let's start with a problem. The rattle type noise seems to be up here inside the dash. He also says there's an occasional rattle from this part of the dash, which I can sort of replicate when I bang on the dash around here. And now that we've got a good idea of the general area where these are coming from, we're gonna head back to the shop and see if we can fix them. Step one is now that you've heard the noise out on the road, try to replicate it when you're not on the road because obviously you don't wanna do this diagnosis while you're traveling on the road. So uh, I usually go around with my fist and try to see if I can hammer around and listen and it seemed to be right over here and I can sort of hear it right there so it seems like something with this trim piece yeah it's definitely something with this trim piece here in fact that's what I'm hearing as the dash flexes as it's going down the road so you develop an ear for these things and you develop a feel for these things over time. So that's that one. But then there was another one he said, well, this one also makes this one worse, that was in the dash down here. And it seems like something in this area. And I've noticed this little panel under here. There's this little rubber piece for that tray. And I noticed when I remove this panel, the noise is pretty much gone. I replace it. I take it out. Now I think this little rubber piece is supposed to dampen whatever noises are there, but it just not, doesn't seem to be doing the best job of it. So we're going to uh, one, make this less noisy, but also this one, which is even more annoying. I'm going to get behind this trim piece and see what I can do to shore it up. Make it so that it doesn't uh, make any more noise. I also noticed when I took this apart, I've, ar I've already kind of been here. I'm uh, just trying to help Brian out, but then I said, hey, let's make a video. But I noticed this guy here is loose. And I imagine they do this so that it's, it's actually held in place by this trim piece here. So I think this may be partly responsible for the noise since it's only clipped in like that. And you can see that this part back here just rests inside of this uh, hole down here. So this is just a rattle just like it is. But with all this stuff removed, all those rattles that we had before have virtually disappeared. So I'm fairly certain that the parts that I've removed are the cause of the rattle. Now it's a question of quieting them down. Before me, I have some anti-rattle or noise tape. Now I got this back when I was at the dealer. I'm gonna see if I can track some down for you and put links in the description. But this stuff is specifically designed for these types of problems. And there's, there's different levels that I have. I have this stuff here, it kind of depends on you know, how much space I have, but it's, it's like tape, you just peel it off, you cut it to whatever size you need and fit it. Same with this stuff. But this stuff is a little more foamy. And I think this is the direction I'm gonna go with this, with this car. Cause this, this is a little stiff and hard, stop it. This stuff is a little softer and I think will absorb the noise just a bit better in this case. So it, it kind of depends on your noise. It depends on where it is. It depends on how much space you have because you can't make the part that you're trying to quiet down so thick it doesn't fit properly anymore. You've got to run this balance between getting rid of the noise and the snug fit you need to get rid of it and the functionality of the part. I'm gonna start with this one and this piece here. And this uh, foam piece seems like an ideal candidate for this one. I'm gonna put it right in the center. 
as I said, this stuff is very pliable. So it won't screw up the fit, but hopefully it'll tighten it up enough to where it'll stop rattling around. Gone. I'm very happy with that result. So there's one rattle solved. This one I'm gonna tackle in two parts. And this is the other thing that you just kind of have to figure out. I'm assuming that when this is in there, it's pressed up against here and it doesn't move around as much. Now I'm trying to think of how I'm going to accentuate that and make that even more the case. Yeah, it looks like they already have some measure, something similar to what I have here. So they're already aware that there is a noise there, but their anti-rattle may not be sufficient. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to come in here actually with the stiffer stuff that I have and I'm going to go on these. And then I'm also thinking about putting a small piece here for when it slides down inside the dash. Another thing to look for when you're doing this is if any of these plastic clips are broken off or damaged in any way, they can also cause a noise like this. I'm thinking this stuff that's a little, actually not that, this stuff that's a little bit firmer might be good in all of these places. In fact, I think this is really the source of the noise. But every place that they already have some anti-rattle measure placed, I'm gonna reinforce it. I think I'm gonna come in here like that. Probably can get two pieces out of this. I don't know if I like putting anti-rattle on top of anti-rattle. I think I'm going to remove what they have and replace it with what I have. Because there does come a point where you just get it too thick. And we're talking about matters of a millimeter here. Yeah, I like that so much better. Same thing over here. Because I don't really see that staying for too long, especially on a hot day. The adhesive just could melt away. I'm going to do the sides. And you can see that what I'm putting in is much thicker than what I'm taking out. But it's only a few millimeters. That may be all that's required. And I have this small little piece left over here that I'm going to use at the top. Okay, a couple of pieces in the car and we're ready to test this out. Down in here and down in here were also places that I thought I might place some of this anti-rattle material. I'm not sure how to handle this one. Because it, it does need to move a certain amount. I think I'll put a small piece on here. And I know the rattle's up here, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to wedge this whole thing in to where it's no longer making those noises. It's less already. Already it's better. Let's go for a drive and test our result. I'm still hearing a little bit of the noise. Hasn't quite left us yet. Especially when I pull down. So that means I want to push up. This is part of how you solve these. So if you're pulling down and you hear the noise, you want to wedge it so it goes up. We've made progress. We're, we're on the right track. Just need a little bit more. Over here in particular. All right, it's back to the shop for us. It seems this is still our problem area. 
So I'm gonna try a few more pieces to lock it in. I might even go so far as to put something right here. Nice thing about this is you can cut it to size. I'm gonna grab, grab a trim tool and see if I can pop that vent out. Uh, so they do come off, nice. No shim. <laughs> it's my fix. Cameraman Brian's fix. So this guy was making a great deal of noise because it's stopped now. So I'm going to put a piece right under here and maybe a piece right here. Maybe another piece in here on this side of the dash. I've got this piece here that I know is going to help. This piece here, I also know is going to help. But we can always pop it back out. It is a process. That's significantly better. Just going to repeat it over here. How many of these did you chase down when you were attacked? I did a whole lot of this work because I was the guy that would do jobs like this. A lot of guys won't even touch it because when you're at the dealer, you, there's no set time for something like this, so you have to do something called straight time, and it's extremely difficult to actually get paid for the time you put into something. It's much easier to go and do a service or a maintenance and get paid for that than it is to try and track down a noise like this. We'll put one on the van itself on this one, right on the back side here. So you need to be making improvements each time. And that's the way this may be. I mean, you may not get it first time. Another thing to consider is replacing all these clips. Sometimes they get weak and they don't hold fast and they need to be replaced. I might have won. Let's go drive and see if Brian smiles. Brian and I just went out for a short drive and there's still just a little bit up inside behind here. And I think it's a result of this thing being able to move back and forth. So I'm gonna see what I can do to really try to nail this centerpiece down and also everything around the outside of it to make sure that uh, it doesn't move. But we are steadily making progress and know that it's quite possibly gonna go this exact same way for you. It's a process of trial and error until you track down the right piece. But the point is not to go too far to where the, po the parts will no longer go back together. You sort of have to walk this balance. So a little bit at a time until you solve it is probably the best course of action. All right, I noticed that they had a piece of their sound deadening right there. So I'm gonna put a piece here and also a piece here and a piece here to try and force this outer trim piece up. Let's try it yet again. I think we got it. Brian's making that face. <laughs> it's proper. Not one bit of noise, except for the not wearing seatbelt noise. But we're in a parking lot. Even the big bumps. Even the big bumps. Is the customer happy? Yay! <laughs> I don't have to go to a dealership to do it. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. <laughs> and you can try this at home, too. And it works. So cameraman Brian is happy. He's grinning. His uh, OCD doesn't help, no longer has to put up with that noise, which is very annoying. Extremely. So if you have a noise in your dash, I will put a link in the description to uh, tape 
that you can possibly use to cure that noise, but know that it's a process of elimination. Every vehicle is different. If you're not sure how to get your dash trim pieces apart, consult the service manual. I'll put a link in the description to a video I did about how to find those. Otherwise, if you have automotive questions, I'd ask you to head to airatthecarguide.com. Put a link in the description of that for you. Also, if you wish to connect with me socially, Google+, Plus, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Post repair videos on Fridays, so stop back and see me then. Be safe, have fun. Stay dirty. We'll see you next time.